Well, hey there, everyone. I received this mini bike in the mail, and you can get it from Amazon, and I had never heard of this brand. Is this bike as awesome as the classic Coleman CT100? These bikes are pretty much exactly the same in a lot of ways, yet very, very different. What do you think, Marley? No, no. I like mine better. <laughs> yeah, hers is better. Well, I'm gonna show you all the features that this new bike has. I'm gonna show you how to put it together, how to service it. Then we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Then we're gonna ride these suckers. And then, because Marley is so loyal to her bike, we're gonna give this one away to a kid and we're gonna make his day. You think so? All right, let's get to it. All right, so what do we have here? This is the Oryx Earth, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced, 105cc four-stroke mini bike. Prices seem to be all over the place. As of December 2022, it's sitting at around $440 plus shipping. The sellers offered me this bike for free to make a video about, but I don't have a horse in this race. I'm not keeping it, but I thought it'd be fun for you dads out there. If you end up wanting one though, I'll have a link in the description. This video does have a sponsor though, which is Havlin and Tecron. More on them in a little bit. So let's get this box open and see what we got. Mmm, mmm, smells like, Smells like Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight, so that's fine. Caution, add engine oil. We will definitely be doing that. That is on the list. So first off, I like that it came with your choice of three different colors. I'm gonna say this. When I assembled Marley's Coleman, it was not this well protected and it came scratched up. So I don't see any scratches of any kind, which is very, very cool. Looks like we've got a fender stuck on top of the other fender. Adorable, very plastic. And looks like I found all of our hardware. So that's cool. Now, oh yeah, gross. There is something about these bikes. They come with the worst handles ever. I think I'm gonna swap these out. The seat isn't bad. I don't know, that's kind of a nice seat. Uh, compared to the Coleman's, I. I kind of dig this seat. And most importantly, we've got a giant list of disclaimers about how it's not the company's fault if your uh, you or your children die horrible, horrible deaths. Can't forget your delicious uh, super edible silica gel. So be sure to eat that while you assemble your bike. And we've got this. That's good, I like that. I like the cage on the muffler. That is good for kids. That's quite smart, so I like that. You know, my hopes are kind of going up a little bit. I don't know, I think this thing could be kind of cool. Let's put this tiny beast together. I started by installing the front fork and then the front wheel. I felt the front axle bolt needed a washer but didn't come with one, so I grabbed one from my collection. I ran into a small issue when it came time to install the handlebars. These cables, uh, they are all very, very short. I tried routing it around this way and it didn't work and I tried routing it underneath. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this off and take this off and route it through the center of the fork here. So it's all together for you, but you're gonna need to take it apart, at least in my opinion. Got one. All right, the bike's all together, but before we start uh, pulling on the starter rope and all that good stuff, we better add some engine oil. So the uh, owner's manual calls for 12 fluid ounces. Also, the manual calls for 10W30 uh, oil. Now, what I'm gonna be using, and they are a channel sponsor, so I'm a little biased, but this is awesome stuff, is Haviland uh, Full Synthetic Oil. This one is the Lifelong uh, Pro DS. I use it in all my, my other uh, motorcycles, mini bikes, uh, small engine stuff, lawn mowers, everything. It has all the modern cleaning additives and friction modifiers to protect your engines and maintain performance. Another thing I run in all of my motorcycles and small engines is Tecron Power Sports fuel system treatment and fuel stabilizer. It helps prevent carbon deposits and varnish buildup inside the gas tank or carburetor. 
This can stabilize uh, gas up to two years. Um, so that's really important, especially for these kind of, these engines like mini bikes that might sit for a little while unused. I pre-mix everything for motorcycles and small engines with this stuff mixed with premium fuel so that everything in all these engines is stabilized and keeps all of these old carburetors clean and new carburetors too. bike is running and frankly I'm kind of impressed there was a couple things to uh, bring to you guys so first off there was a lot of slop in our throttle but I was able to adjust that out by loosening this uh, set screw right here pulling the throttle uh, cable a little more tight so the kickstand is as tight as it will go but there's a lot of slop in it here if you want look at that uh, the other thing is that this clutch bushing requires you to oil it every time before you use it according to the owner's manual and this sticker. They give you a little bottle to put oil in, you drop like two or three drops down in there and then you put that back. I don't think little kids are going to do that. That is not a great design. That's probably going to run <laughs> not oiled and eventually go bad. So that's just my opinion. Another important thing I want to show parents uh, to novice riders especially is let me show you where you can set um, a throttle limiter screw. So I'll twist the throttle and show you how this works. So as you can see, when I twist the throttle, it's hitting that screw. So the farther you turn it um, clockwise in, that will limit how much throttle you can do. You could set it in farther or you could remove that screw entirely. That's how you do that, kids. <laughs> and you would have the full speed capabilities of the 100cc engine of this beast. So obviously the CT100 is a tried and true, pretty much a classic at this point. We've had this for, I think, almost four years and it's been great. So let's go over what I like about this one. First off, I am a fan of actual handlebars. These could be replaced if they got broken. Um, that one, it's all one big piece. The front fork and the handlebars are one big thing. If that gets bent, it is dead. I think the seat design is a bit of a plus and a minus. It's longer, which is good, uh, which is better for taller riders, riders with longer legs. But overall, for an older kid, I think that this is better. But for a younger kid, that works just as well, if not better, because the frame isn't as tall. Now, something you saw while I was putting this bike together that I do not like is the plastic chain guard. This makes it very difficult for a, a dad or a mom or an older kid to lube the chain. Brakes on both bikes I think are identical. <laughs> you have a single mechanical disc brake in the back. Something I don't like these plastic um, levers for the fuel shut off and for the choke. I really like the CT100 uh, levers um, much more than I like these. I think the foot pegs on this bike are a little bit better, at least they're a little bit more stout, but they're also kind of odd in their position. As you can kind of see, any kid with a proper rider is gonna just be putting their foot flat on it like that. And so this is, this is odd. I almost think it like, I was wondering if this was installed backwards or something. The Coleman CT100U. Now Coleman is just kind of a, uh, a nostalgic name. I understand that both these bikes are made in China at this point, but I gotta say the shape and look of this one I love your actual metal, you know, fenders in the front and rear. You have an actual metal chain guard with plenty of space to be able to lube your chain. Okay, Marley is out here with me. Marley, what is your, uh, your mini bike's name? Strawberry. Now, tell me why you love strawberry. I remember one day I came home and then you had this in a box and then you called me into your shop after I got off the bus and then you said I have a surprise for you and I didn't know what it was so I came into your shop and then we and then I saw the box and I'm like what's that for and you said there's a mini bike in there and we built it. And you've been riding strawberry in the backyard ever since. She is getting a lot better. Well, what do you say we uh, fire both of these bikes up and uh, you can ride that one and then you can ride yours and I'll ride whatever one you don't want to ride and we'll just have some fun. I want to ride mine. I know, 
But I want you to ride this one too, just so you, you see what you think about it. Okay. Coleman is definitely perfect for a nice big backyard. Uh, perfect size, doesn't go too fast, and uh, it's a lot of fun. Always wear a helmet, always wear closed toed shoes and pants, and probably gloves. You ready to lose? No, because you are. Oh, I see. Ladies first. Go, go, go! My daughter is faster than me. I hate that. I win. I know. Just fist bump. There you go. I don't like you. I like strawberry better. She feels that her ears sound like a weird clockwork. Still like strawberry better. Always will. Whoa. That was scary. I saw that. Strawberry never did that. Oh, you you peeled out on strawberry a bunch of times. All right, what do you think of uh, what do you think of the uh, the blue bike? I like strawberry better. But is this bike pretty darn cool? It's okay. What do you say we give it away? Yes. All right. Hey, well, what a difference a couple weeks makes. Uh, we've been waiting to give the bike away until uh, the new owner's helmet arrived, and it just did. So now we get to give it away, and he gets to ride it for the first time in the snow. All right, so here's the plan. We're giving the bike to Chris's son, Connor. Uh, if you're a fan of the channel, he's been camping with us and a couple other things. So he's an awesome kid. And last time I hung out with him was Halloween, and he forgot his Halloween mask. So this is what we're giving back to him, and maybe some other stuff, too. Hey, Connor, do you want your Halloween mask back? There it is. <laughs> it's, uh, it's attached to something. I, yeah, I think you can. <laughs> and your dad got you the helmet. Everyone's pronouncing it differently. Orkson. Hey, that's what Amy said. So there you go. You're better at pronouncing things than I am. It's just That's grass. Great. It, it's just grass. It's just grass. This <laughs> guy I know who could probably fix it. There you go, man. Nice. We didn't know there'd be this much snow. <laughs> oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're probably good. <laughs> Well, that's probably it for mini bikes until next spring, but thank you Oryx Earth for sending that bike. It's awesome. I think Connor's gonna love it. So until next time, everyone, God bless, and don't forget to do it yourself. Oh, and Merry Christmas.